All right, here are five things to know on this Wednesday morning. Law enforcement officials in Waldo County are looking for this missing teen from Morrill. Her name is Amelia King. She's 15 years old. She was last seen on Monday afternoon. Officials with the Sheriff's Office say she may be with an 18 year old named Jeffrey Philbrook. He's from the town of Brooks and drives a blue Ford Focus with a license plate 7778ZX. If you see Amelia or a car that matches that description, you're asked to contact the Waldo County Sheriff's Office. We now know 11 law enforcement officers are on administrative leave after a police chase and shooting in Oxford County. They were chasing after Gary Porter, who investigators say had slipped out of his handcuffs and then crashed two separate cruisers. This is all in the town of Paris. Porter was shot and taken to the hospital. He was later then transferred to the Oxford County Jail. It is protocol for officers to be placed on administrative leave after firing a weapon. Lawmakers in Augusta are in the process of going through about 200 bills and deciding how to distribute funding for them. A legislative committee met yesterday to look over the bills on the table. The rest are expected to be addressed later this week. Some will be funded using leftover money from the state's general fund, which has about 11 million extra dollars available. The bills that receive funding will have to then go back to the House and Senate to be officially enacted. The Commissioner of Maine's Department of Health and Human Services is going to take a new job. The governor's office announcing yesterday that Jean Lambrew will step down end of this month and work in health policy and then teach at Harvard University. The governor will name an acting DHHS commissioner at the end of the month if a permanent replacement for Lambrew has not been nominated. Candidates would have to go before the legislature's Health and Human Services Committee and then the decision on a new commissioner would have to be confirmed by the state Senate. We are learning more about plans for a new senior housing complex in Bangor. City leaders say the affordable housing project will be built on Milford Street. The complex will have 40 units and construction is expected to start next month. The nonprofit Penquist is helping with construction. Leaders are expecting state and federal funds to help pay some of the cost of the project. All right, Todd, one more check of the weather. Yeah, uh, today, you know, I mean, coming off of what we had yesterday, this is this is a tough pill to swallow with uh, showers coming in middle of the day. They'll develop. Uh, we could have some rumbles of thunder this afternoon in a few spots. Temperatures in the 50s. Yesterday we had 70s. Uh, tomorrow, 50 degrees with uh, clouds, maybe some sprinkles around. Good news for Friday. It looks like that storm is going to be south of us, so not much rain now in the forecast, but not much sun either. And there shouldn't be too much sun through the weekend, but also no drops, so there's that. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Todd. Yeah, bye-bye. <laughs>